and, and you don't know the burden that be on pastors, how to give, you know, and how to pay for bills that when the church comes short and a lot of other things that happen. And then you got members in there saying, Pastor, you know, uh, my baby, she needs pamphlets and she needs some milk. And, you know, you give them milk. And then the thing that really confuses me, when they leave and go somewhere else, they'll swear they ain't done nothing for me over there. Right, 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 right. You done paid your light bills, bought your baby milk, gave you water. And you swear they ain't did nothing over there for you in that church. And so that's why I say you got to be careful with people. People, people can be fickle. But if you really with your pastor, then get behind them. Don't, don't get behind me with words. Somebody say amen. Because I, I hate people get behind me with words. Get behind me with your money. Get behind me with your time. Let me see you at Bible study. Let me see you at prayer service. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. See, y'all let that, that stuff get tough for people. You know, Pastor, I love you, but if we, where were you, was, where you, where were you been for the last five Bible studies? We didn't have prayer six times. You ain't showed up one time. And you're late on Sundays off. Hello, somebody. And so what you have to understand is that being a pastor is not easy. And it's something that we don't take lightly, and it's something that the church shouldn't take lightly. You as a member, if you're a member here, it is your duty to make sure you get up under another girl to pastor Amen. and his ministry. Amen. And so you have a lot of people right now that are having problems. Can, can I just talk for a second, and I'm going to go ahead and sit down. But one of the problems that we're having is everybody is attacking the men of God now. It's open season on pastors and leaders for some reason. Pastor didn't do this, and he said this. You know, they want to talk about Bishop James. They want to talk about Bishop this. Yes. What are you doing? Exactly. Yes. Hello, somebody. Hello. Are you being an effective member? Yes. Are you operating effectively? Yes. If I'm the pastor, then if I'm not operating effective, what about you? Where's your membership? Where's your, 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 your service time? Because don't think I'm going to put you in a position that you can't come to service. Lord have mercy. I'm going to shut my mouth. Because a lot of people, but, but the Spirit is saying somebody needs to hear this. Don't, don't think that you're going to move forward and you ain't participating. I don't know you. The Bible told us to know them that labor among us. I don't know you. I, but you're showing me. You're showing me inconsistency. You showing me I can't depend on you. You showing me that I can't trust you. You showing me I can't rely on you. I'm talking to y'all members now because y'all need to hear this. If I'm your leader, show me. <laughs> I'm going to shut my mouth because I, I can feel that thing rubbing somebody the wrong way. <laughs> but let me go on. I could have made y'all happy, but I ain't coming to make you happy. I just got to tell you what the Lord said. And so I'm going to be ready to sit down. And, and before I sit, I want to just honor the man of God in this house and his wife. And the Lord bless you guys. And, you know, we pray that uh, everything works, that you push and you press and you stay committed to your dream, to your vision, to your faith. Um, me and my wife, we've been married for 19 years. And uh, she felt led that the Lord had pressed on her heart to come and support here. And when she told me that, I said, okay, go ahead and. Go. She is wife. Believe me that if I say no, she won't do. <laughs> Not that I'm a controlling man or nothing, but I am the man. Hello, somebody. <laughs> I paid to be the man. <laughs> she driving a nice car. You see the purse she got? I bought that. Hello. <laughs> I bought that. I bought her rings. I make sure she clean. I make sure she yeah. And so when I say no, she knows what no means. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and so the Lord sent me to a different direction. I came. I'm working with Bishop Young over the Church of God in Christ and trying to assist him at this particular point in time. I know these two, I haven't seen y'all that before, but you know, y'all just rung the bell when you stepped through the door. I saw you and I said, I know them two. And uh, God bless you, though. Stay, stay faithful to what God has called you to do. Yeah. And don't forget. Don't forget your calling. Don't forget your order. Don't forget where you're supposed to be. Amen. And if you haven't found where you're supposed to be, find it. Amen. And stay committed to it. 
Because through that commitment, the Lord is going to raise you up. And the Lord is going to build you. And can I just prophesy in the right while there? Come, 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 and don't be, don't be afraid. Don't even worry about it. Don't, don't, don't wonder. All right. But, sir, it's some 